Okay, here we go. Friday night, trek through the woods. It's hard to decide if I want to get the spot next door as well. So I've got to come and explore my own space. And, well, I'm not going to go back up there and see it, but I just saw the most massive spider web. So, kind of cool to be in the woods. Got a walking stick. I really should pack this up because I got to get on down there to that trail. And recording it might not be as uh, good of an idea as it might sound because it would be actionable. But we'll pause and pick up after. So I got to take a break here. The drop off is right there. Gravity continuously pulls me down no matter which way I go. I want to get a piece of gum. And then I'll pick up down there eventually I can't resist no more toss down the walking stick and hey we face it going down ride the butt down there we go uh, easy peasy all right so this is where I got held up last time I think maybe I think I stopped there We'll see. I'm not headed that direction. Maybe I'll head that direction tomorrow. I want to head that direction. See if I can come out on the other side of this ridge here. And then back up into the other property. And then back on down. Back down to my place. So campsite ought to be up in that direction. And the other exit part of the path ought to be over there. If I follow this around like a horseshoe go here this is god god gosh dang it this is cool now that i really have a chance to come out and and know this rather than walk through too quickly this is cool we're going to see this path here where it takes us from here old logging road and then see if we can pull around up in there god dang jungle it's quiet though so in previous videos from the spring, I thought I walked down as far as this, but I kind of don't recall because this isn't, this is an old logging path probably from 15 years ago, but uh, as you see, it ain't been touched since. Now this is serious. I don't remember being it being this thick back in the springtime and so the question of the weekend is with all I know it seems like a lot but it's all thick a wintertime view will help a lot more wintertime view will help a lot more but wintertime view can't wait until then to figure out Put one and one and make two together right now and be done. But I think it's easy. Just coming down here and then just being able to see how vast this is and what I got to do the rest of the evening and try to trek on up through here just to get to back to the campsite and a little bit of chow is just the adventure I'm looking for. Bit more unexpected than I thought. But with walking stick in one hand. Water, 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 always ready in the other. Here we go. Now, we're going to throw all this muckety muck and then pick up from there. So I was looking for something better than Tough Mudder. This definitely didn't involve a second party for doing all your financial work and making a pain in the butt of everything. And I more than found it, I thought, in the idea of trying to trek through the Grand Canyon. And then I was going to meet a buddy of mine in Las Vegas at the end of it. And that would have been September 2020. 
September 2020 didn't happen like that. Instead, September 2020 made some realizations very clear. You want a tough mutter, it's in your backyard if you look for it. Tough mutter ain't got nothing on this. I've already proven that over and over. Just in, uh, I think this is visit number five. Could be visit number four. Try to make the most of them, but coming uphill too here. And the other thing was being able to camp. You know, now we got the ability to camp as loud, as, as, as bright, as whatever the hell we want. And you can't see the canopy's not clear here, but the clearings with the stars make it very clear that access uh, all along the top ridge in the other direction of what I'm walking now makes this real this is freaking cool this has got possibility nobody else is back here and if people ever wanted to come back here they could have a hell of a good time if you enjoy this and you consider this a hell of a good time but things will get cleared out eventually okay we're gonna continue along the path Stop being boring because now we got to bear down and probably go uphill a bit more. Okay. And then come to a spot that clearly ain't marked, but might be a clearing up along this way here. Yeah. Here we come out onto the other path. Okay, so in previous video, I've, I'm pretty sure I've shown along this path here. And I think if I wanted to, I could come out along, right? Come out along there. That goes to the other property. I didn't go this way before, but this ought to climb the ridge line back. That goes on down to the stream beds. As in plural, but they are dry, bone dry right now. Dry, dry, dry. So. Okay, I've got another path here. I think I'll just go ahead and follow this. Ooh, got some little bit of, uh, in the winter time, that would be mountain view. But not mountain view now. See if you fuck a focus in clearly enough. See what I see. You see the faint outline of a ridge line back there, maybe. It comes and goes. But those are mountains of West Virginia. And okay, so I tried to line up my border line I had to come out of the woods that way through the other property the way that I took the big path that goes all the way up there and somebody's got a campsite up there now and then my property line runs down this way about 1200 feet through the deep gully there and a drop off and then up and over another hill. I haven't done that yet, so I ain't ready to at night time. We're not going to do that. We're going to head back out to top of the hill. Let me give some light here, see if this will work. You know, to give some, you know, recognition to Mother Nature for kicking my butt once again. The vastness 
Don't let anybody tell you the world suffers from scarcity. It ain't true. I have an access to what coming up in here. I think it's a hundred feet down in that gully along the borderline is where they were intended to drive a road through there but go ahead and have an easement on my path and I get both and then we go up and down the two big hills way inside here and we'll be using a caterpillar to do it Okay, remember, bulldozers equal opportunity under the right circumstances. We're in no rush to do it. So post hike review, just to make sure you don't think it's all peaches and cream. You know, I'm kind of banged up here. Don't come out in the light so much maybe. But I'm banged up a bit, wasn't wearing pants. Just shorts, but uh, I don't care, and uh, ain't nothing that can't be washed off with. The solar hot water heater over there has been sitting out in the sun all day, and time to take a warm shower. <laughs>